happy holidays everyone that's right you sassy bitches today's not exactly christmas but we still want to celebrate it doesn't matter if you celebrate christmas hanukkah kwanzaa or even life day we love each and every fucking one of you so whether you've been naughty or nice or somewhere in between we hope that you and your family get some quality time with each other grab your moose shaped mug of eggnog and let's get this sleigh on the road We've got some Christmassy stuff to talk about, and we're so excited to share it with all of y'all. Forgive us, Santa, for we're about to be put on the naughty list permanently. It's time for Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone, for realsies. Um, we're really... I, I hate that for I just realsies. said for realsies. I fucking hate that for I just realsies. said that. For realsies. For realsies. Santa baby slipped something right inside of me. Oh, I've fuck. Never, yeah. I'm... Oof, jeez. <laughs> All free. Damn. Oh, God. All right, we're off to a great fucking start. Speaking of, Chris, uh, speaking of ridiculous Christmas songs and parodies, um, it's not a parody, but it just is the most ridiculous Christmas song, but I absolutely love it. Which is what? Lady Gaga came out with a Christmas song back in like 2008 when she had like first started. Couldn't be any more annoying than Mariah Carey's fucking God's sake. I'm tired of hearing it's that song. It's not. It's actually like well, a crazy um, like synth pop. It's called Christmas Tree. All right. Let me go through the lyrics oh, real quick. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. I mean, you're not far off. <laughs> it's ra pa pom pom ra pa pom pom ra pa pom pom ra pa pom pom Light me up. Put me on top. Let's follow la 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 la. Light me up. Put <laughs> no, me on top. Shit. No, this cannot be real. <laughs> no, this, this, only is actually, this is actually real. This is real. The, the only, only place, place you'll want to be is underneath, underneath my Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. Yep. And then it repeats the light me up thing. Ho, 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 under the mistletoe. Yes, tree. everyone ho, knows ho, we will ho, take ho. off the clothes. Oh if you... <laughs> yeah. Lady Gaga, right. you're a very I'm talented artist. I will give you that. But holy <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> this, was in the, this was right after her first album, The, uh, the Fame. And um, it is the very fame much that. No, 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 no. Because Fame Monster was the EP that he, came out after yeah. the Fame. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh my God, the the um, last lines. Hold on, last line. Space Cowboy, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga. Here we go. Cherry, cherry, boom, boom. Yeah, because it was also I'm, Space I'm Cowboy. That did, uh, Space Cowboy also did. Um, had a feature on this song with her. Oh my god! I am very surprised you have not heard this, Jeff, at all. I, I didn't. I've never it. heard I it either. Love but... First off, so you. much because here's the thing: First while off, it is a terribly yeah. written song as far as lyrics, I give her creativity for the usage of being under her Christmas tree, and also that beat in the background is sick. I love it. <laughs> it's so, so trashy. I absolutely love it, early Gaga. It sounds to me like she was literally trying to make a Christina, Britney back in the day. Like I really when they think, had like their whole I feud. Really think, it sounded like I think it sounded like I think one. I think one of two things happened. One, she either was like, "Eh, fuck it, whatever. I'll do a Christmas song," but I'm doing a Christmas song my way, which absolutely sounds seems like something she would do. But she also has not done a Christmas song since. So my personal theory, that? that song came out, uh, I mean, dude, it was right after the fame. Um, well, that's pretty interesting. She was able to get uh, Michael Jackson to come back to life just to go, 2000, 2008. He, he passed in, yeah. what, Michael Jackson was still alive in 2008. Yeah, no, no, I know. He died on my birthday. Um, so really? anyways... And he died on my birthday. It was my gift from God. I liked Michael Jackson. He had great music. He had great music. He was a terrible person. Uh, that's true for a lot of musicians. That's true for a lot of people in general, dude. That's okay. true. A majority of people on earth are actually terrible people. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. A majority of people on earth who could say they had great music. <laughs> I wish. I really wish. That'd be great. So Michael Michael Jackson no, died in 09. So yeah, he was alive for that. I have a so my other theory is this. The record label went to Lady Gaga and was like, look, you're like the hottest thing right now. And we're getting into like Christmas season. You gotta come out with a track. And oh, God. she's like I don't want to do a Christmas song. I'm very but surprised. They're like, you oh, have to. That was like, um, this is early. I'm like, and, who is it? Sarah Bareilles? Yeah. Because this is also like early them. in Lady Gaga's career because she didn't have any like say in what she did other than the fashion and the crazy stunts that she would do because that was all her. Which is what got her say in everything else. Well, I mean, that's what got the attention. So I purely, they, yep. you know, she found a way to make sure she was the artist through and through. Um, but, but yeah, that uh, that that song is my absolute guilty pleasure when it comes to like bad Christmas songs. Um, which all right, Brandon, so there's a topic. What's everyone's favorite? Brandon, you gotta do an acoustic version song. of this. <laughs> I would fucking love to, and I will do it as a Sleepy Boys exclusive. Yes, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon yes, <laughs> fuck yes, do that. I will absolutely do it, dude. You know right. what? I, I just he, see Brandon he, I, looking he, deep into Mark's eyes yeah, while he, he sings it. Do uh, I need you to actually do like synth and drums for me? Because that's the only way that song works. Uh, I will do it. Actually, I will fucking do yes. it for you. If you do this, I will do it with you. <laughs> yeah, I will absolutely do I'm, it, guys. All the topic. Can Mark be in the background wooing? So speak, there's another. Uh, that was my phone. That was my phone. Vibrating. You gotta dress up as an elf, dude, and then you gotta fucking um, brave, pretty much. <laughs> so, also, I find it interesting because my other favorite terrible Christmas song is Christmas Time by Paul McCartney. And it also has that weird synthy thing in the background. Did you know he made a butt plug? Say what? He made a giant butt plug in Paris? <laughs> yes, he made a giant butt plug. <laughs> that wasn't Paul McCartney. Wait, wait, wait. That was Paul McCarthy, you dude. Wait, wait. <laughs> no. uh, are you, Christmas, Christmas time, the <laughs> wonderful Christmas time? Yeah, wonderful Christmas time. Yeah. Okay, cool. You know, um, I honestly, I can't think of any terrible Christmas music that I listen to. Mm -hmm. honestly i mean the only one i just oh, the only man. one i get annoyed of is just hearing um is hearing mariah carey's because they play it so consistently but oh, no, no, that's no, a no. problem though i actually really enjoy the way that song was produced and recorded and she sounds amazing and i'm just i'm so annoyed that that song gets played as much as it does but here's the other problem i have that is the only modern Christmas song that's been written in the past 20 years that gets any, like, major Not true. play. Oh. See, like, with you, Brandon? No, oh, no, go no, ahead, no. Jeff. Oh, no. People no, no, I was out Brandon. Christmas music, but that's but, but the one. But here, like, what, what other one do you think of that's an original um, Christmas song? Um, I got one. I got Christmas one. Christmas in Hollywood? Wait, what are you that, does not get that does not get played. Uh, Justin Bieber had a yeah, Christmas I song, and it's amazing. You your sentence. Say what, Jeff? I answered before no, you finished your sentence. That's but I, I do back. love... Oh, okay. I, I do, didn't hear you roll it back. I do love the song now because August Burns Red made a metal version out of Mariah Carey's uh, and I also song. And I also love uh, awesome. uh, the My Chemical Romance version, version. of it. Yep. Okay, guys, I, I do have a confession that I hate that I have to confess this. Which awesome. is... I actually really like Justin Bieber's mistletoe song. <laughs> Oof. I hate, solid, but that's a solid Christmas song. I hate Justin Bieber all like so much, but I can't, I, I don't know that fucking song. It just gets me, man. What do you mean? It gets you? Um, oh, so hard. <laughs> okay. So we have other issues that we need to address. Yes, yep. <laughs> have you gentlemen heard the song Christmas in Hollywood? By From, are you guys familiar with the band Hollywood Undead? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my I God. I have band. not heard them since, God, oh God so since I like, graduated high school, actually. Mm -mm. First off, give them a listen to it again because they're still fantastic. They wrote a Christmas song. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> the lyric, the the choruses, it's Christmas in Hollywood, Santa's back Please, up in the hood, on. so meet me under the mistletoe, let's fuck. It's Hanukkah and Englewood, the dreidel spinning in the hood. So meet me by the menorah. Let's get drunk. And it gets so much more graphic. That's right. I for, okay, I forgot about this. Uh, 
It's so well, awesome. hold on. I know how Brandon just said nobody's made like uh, an original Christmas song all on their own, but I forgot about. Um... Hold on, hold on. No, that is not what I said. Well, he well, said my bad. I Sorry. said yeah. that... no Christmas song like. Original, original Christmas, Christmas song has yeah. been written in the past 20 years that has become popular other right. than yeah. Mariah Carey. Well, yeah. not even popular. You just said that gets as much radio. Right. Yeah. And that's like, what I mean by popular. Like, absolutely true. Yeah, and that's that's why I was like, yeah. But, uh, you know what? I actually forgot about uh, Fearless, Re- Fearless Records' uh, Punk Goes Christmas album, actually. I forgot about that. You know, now that I'm oh, thinking so about awful. it, I think it's I the worst it. Punk Goes Anything album. I'm always I got to if 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 you really think about it, that Mariah Carey's Christmas song might be the most like the song that more people fuck to around the holidays than anything else. <laughs> what? Like think about it. Like you know how everyone has their uh, sex their sex playlist, right? Yeah, the American National Anthem. Nice. <laughs> Naturally. But like if you really think about it, like that's the that's pretty much the only Christmas song I can think of that has enough of a beat and a tempo to actually fuck to. Have you ever listened to Dominic the Donkey? (laughs) 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 Oh, that's got to stick. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god! (laughs) You're you're absolutely right. I think it depends on how fast the guy is, because I think a lot of songs start to "Baby, It's Cold Outside." And if the guy's really sad in bed, I mean, he could end to it too. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's actually a lot more songs than I thought. Like. Like Jingle Bells, uh, fucking, uh, Santa. Well, you gotta have a fast Rudolph. tempo if you're fucking the Jingle Bells. Rudolph the Red Nose. Oh God, I got the reindeer this time. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have a lot of issues if you're uh fucking to. Uh, I saw mommy kissing Santa. Oh Claus. my God. Oh no. Unless, <laughs> unless you're doing some role play, in which at that point. Ooh. You know what? You know, did you know that's the issue I was they, talking about? They wrote a sequel to that one, right? Did no, they didn't. Yeah, the the sequel is I saw mommy fisting. Incoming Santa Claus. lie. Oh, Mark, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Mark, now you said they wrote a sequel to it. Now, do you mean by they? Do you mean you? I mean it is it is being typed up right now. Oh no. <laughs> um. Also, guys, uh, can we do a raunchy with? Christmas album next year? Mark, you keep wanting to do this, and I am just not about it. What if there's no Uncle Charlie? I'm still. <laughs> well, that'll be it. simple. He's dead. He's dead. We hey, can't. Quick question. Anyway, I just thought of something. Thought, well, do the listeners have of... any idea who Uncle Charlie is? No, no, no they never will. That, that's Can not we a, that's just not keep a... referencing him? Yes. Can we keep we'll just keep him, referencing him, but just never, never ever explain it? You know what, since we, no. keep, since we keep talking about this, this reminds me of Scary Movie 2 when Shorty's in uh, bed and he's looking at TV and then apparently a hip-hop Christmas comes on. He's like, Santa Claus is coming on Mom's Jingle Balls and then Frosty the Dope Man. <laughs> um, also, I thought of a really sad song to try to do it. What? For a Christmas song? Um, do any of you guys think that you could pull it together long enough to make love while Christmas shoes. <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with you, you sick fuck? As you can see, Brandon, nope, I cannot. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I mean, I could probably. <laughs> if you, all right, if you actually get through it, Mark, that will be a fucking achievement. I will literally buy you a gold medal. I'm going to, I'm going to start off small by, by, by jerking it off to that. And then we'll work up to the fucking part. If you buy a fucking gold medal, Mark's going to be that goddamn meme of the guy in third place who bites the medal and shoots the champagne <laughs> off. <of his liver>. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh I want to get, I can see a, it now. <laughs> I want to get either, I want to get a medal or I want to get a trophy. That just says, congrats on the therapy, and Mark's just always going to win it. <laughs> yeah, guys, this this podcast is why I don't have to go to therapy. You guys know that, right? Oh, no. No, no. We're what's called enablers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Our, uh, your therapist would tell you to stop doing this. And they would be correct. Just go to my first therapy session. Hey, Doc. Um... So yeah, I've been doing a lot better mental health wise. Uh, I've I started a podcast. Oh really? What do you guys talk about? My trauma mostly. 
okay and how and what are your oh, friends and they're do? like oh my goodness that that sounds so healthy so you have like a mental health podcast not exactly go, doc well, how do you i, yes, can, I can see it I, I can see and it now then your then your therapist would go oh well you know let me let me hear an example of like you guys talking about some of your trauma and then you just played the episode of your like the whole um dating app situation oh my God. and then key and i just laughing our asses off at you <laughs> yeah. and then your therapist immediately demands that like in person she's like okay so in order for this to go any oh. further i have to start charging you <laughs> and then brandon <laughs> then yeah. you're forgetting then the therapist noticed the shirts mark's wearing <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> it would be a day that Mark goes into therapy wearing a super racist shirt. And then that – no, no, no. I was thinking the bullseye yeah. shirt. Um, yes. And then that night, Mark sees on the news, prominent therapist committed suicide, reason unknown, news at six. The most recent person to – apparently the most <laughs> recent person to have spoken to him was, uh, was a, a man by the name of Mark Walker. After that session, the therapist canceled all other sessions for the day and told his ther his secretary he was leaving his early. Therapist. <laughs> it's believed that uh, Walker suffers from supreme uh, severe narcolepsy, as he is simply known as Sleepy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Several times. I was proud of that one. A notebook, that would be uh, the greatest promotion for this show ever. A notebook was found. <laughs> A notebook was found on the bedside table that simply had the words Sleepy Boys written multiple times, underlined in several different languages, <laughs> different colors. Mark. Multiple pens had been used up. Mark, I'm not advocating. Most of the inks seem to be feces and or blood. Mark, I'm not advocating that you try to, get a th like, try to get your therapist to make them commit suicide over our <laughs> podcast because that would be unethical and very problematic. But at the same time. All work, that no play a makes uh, Mark a sleepy boy. <laughs> that would make uh, make for some like, quite the publicity stunt. I mean, this. I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, feel like we, that'd be a very that'd be a first if that ever if that happened. It would have to be. Oh my god! Good god! I, th it's gonna be real bad when our opening theme music. I'm sorry, Keith, just becomes that news report. Oh my god! I know you work hard, but <laughs> oh. It's just the the first cop uh, podcast to ever be banned everywhere based on just their opening their opening uh, theme. I think <laughs> their logo with the flashing lights and the crazy weird synth music is trying to summon sort of <laughs> some sort of. Music. I'm trying to summon Cthulhu, you bastards! And our <laughs> summon an epilepsy demon. And it's a, the first shred of as evidence is Mark's dead therapist who committed suicide writing sleepy boys all over their fucking wall and feces. <laughs> Man. God. Guys, this is just going to be like, uh, you know about that, the filter song, Hey Man, Nice Shot? <laughs> yes. Yes. You know about the therapist, or not the therapist, the politician that they used for the original music video? Oh, yeah. This is just going to be a lot of that. That's not necessarily. Um, also, I mean, also say this is the weirdest fucking Christmas episode I've ever heard. Fuck, I know. I was just thinking that myself. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty normal to me. All right, you know what? This is actually I got a good segue for this. Speaking of people that need therapy, okay. You guys remember the Grinch? <laughs> you guys remember the Grinch movie from the Jim Carrey Grinch movie, right? Of course. So you're, oh, wait, are you guys talking about how? Hmm? Because of the suit? Yeah. He no, became severely I'm a, claustrophobic because of that suit. Well, no, that fucking makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to talk about the Grinch himself, the character, and not Jim Carrey. So, oh, okay. All right. Wait, so then, why are you referencing the Jim Carrey movie and not the regular specific? Animated? Because this one, this one applies more to the Jim. Or just the character. No, no, this himself. applies more to the, the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch than the rest of the Grinch stuff. Okay. So okay. you guys remember? You guys remember in that movie that. His uh, like he had his his whole like it, under the mountain like workshop and all that shit. Yes. Which no, was yes. How oh wait wait just to, before we go any further. Okay, after watching that movie for the uh, for the first time, now as an adult, I never knew about the fucking bowl of keys that that was a swing. Oh, oh my god! Oh yeah. <laughs> 
I never knew that. Oh, so, so, <laughs> so, dude, so, I learned that back in that 70s show. The other thing that I didn't realize is that I was always very confused why um the grinch came out wearing like a u.s navy hat when he's giving um max like notes on like his character and what he's doing that was a straight jab at ron howard who was the director of that movie wait yeah. really ron howard, more information please ron howard always wears those hat those style of hats yeah. when he's on he always set. wears the snap back. and so jim Carrey grabbed that hat and was giving Max those notes and was dis just decided that he was going to do it as Ron Howard. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the funny thing, really funny thing, a uh, uh, little off topic to say, but um, if you know that, the, like that, like the swingers party that you mentioned key. Yeah. 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 If you look really closely, my parents are there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised actually. One of them was wearing, one of them was wearing a, one of them was wearing a pearl necklace. So <laughs> God, Fur coat. Yeah. Oh my God. There so were Pearl definitely people wearing fur coats there. So. And yep. Yep. Anyway, so if you look at the Grinch's house, like his his cave what that he's got. Would you do, what, Mark? What would you do if you found out that because of that movie, that's what inspired your parents? Oh my God. I don't. Oh, I love. Christmas. I don't have it. I don't have a <laughs> solid answer for that, Brandon. <laughs> that's a first. I don't I don't know what I would do. Um I probably wouldn't watch it again. I'll say that. You'd probably go tell your therapist about it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> I don't know why. But this reminds me of a uh Cy Odmanson sketch where he goes, One day my brother uh, asked me, Cy, if I told you I was gay, how would you would you act any differently? And the only thing Cy uh Cy could think of was I don't know. I'd probably stop trying to show you my ball so much. <laughs> <laughs> like that immediately God, never... becomes a much less funny prank. What Mark? I I mean, what I was going to talk about now isn't even close to what just happened. So like, I can't even like. <laughs> the movie was fucking weird. Let's just be real here. Like like they spent a... on. So. <laughs> That swinger scene with the two women who took the Grinch in. Yeah. Good for them. No, no. Here's the best part of it is, is I they, like, uh, good for your mom. <laughs> I like the town of Hoove is actually very woke. And that, that, that new, that, that new Whoville is way better, but here's the best part. Like now that I'm thinking about it up there, bud. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My favorite part of that whole situation is we were having our holiday get together and nobody even noticed he was there till morning. And I'm like, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't say neither of us noticed. You said any of us, which implies that that <laughs> fucking fuck fest went on all night. Well, when you're a who in Whoville and hopped up on, uh, uh, just be called beans, Whoville, if anything. and, um, you know, whatever you're with, alcoholic you got all them, beverages, them big I mean, bangers and zing zongers. You you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. And 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 who <laughs> clappers and and wom dingers and and, and, and cock slappers, and things like that. Yeah, doing doing bounders. Wow, that's actually straight up from it. Wow, actually, Keith, yeah, that's good on, on you. Me. Good job. Good on good on you, buddy. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um. I lost my fucking train of thought. Also, you know, the reason why they call it Whoville is because of waking up with somebody and you don't realize who they are. So it's just everyone's waking up I'm like, who are you? Oh, you know, oh. now that I'm thinking parties. about it. That actually makes way oh. more sense. So Grinch isn't thing. upset about Christmas. He is upset that he was never invited to the swinger party. You mean this all you can fuck buffet? Yeah, sounds That's like That's why it. his heart was... Three sizes too small. That wasn't the only thing that grew three sizes, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, did you see his fucking girlfriend? Her titties were hanging out the whole movie. He has, yep. He, yep. Martha May Huvier, her fucking cleave was insane. Martha May Huvier. Also, good, job the name for, her. good job for her putting them out there, and it's like no, so absolutely, but like temperatures. Good job. But, like, her fucking cleave, like, this was supposed to then be a fucking just, kid's movie. Then you just got Jeffrey Tambor. 
there just being a dick the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's look at her outfits real quick. Like, she oh, she wore do. no. I'm oh, all about it. The uh, San- I'm all. Oh my god, I'm I'm so fucking hard right now from all these costumes. Also, Jeez. <laughs> who played the dad? Um. Uh, fuck. Um. Uh, because if I say Gary Oldman, okay. am I wrong? No, no, no. It wasn't Gary Oldman. It's the one who plays the dad in Shameless, actually. Oh, really? uh, yeah. yeah. That's I'm, I'm like. Yeah, it's him. Her. I can't remember his fucking name. Oh, though, no, no, yeah, no. It's that's him. not. That's Bill Irwin. No, wait. Wait, was it? Hold on. Hold on. Are you sure? I swear for the longest time I thought it was Gary Oldman and then I realized I, I just realized why. Hold on. Why? Well, why? do you remember his character that he played in Hannibal? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, I just wow, got those fun. two mixed up. Okay, I it was a blast from the past, huh? Um, okay, so no, I can, I, it, it was, yeah, it's a guy named Bill Irwin. It has nothing, it's not Gary Oldman, and it's not that other guy. But I do recognize Bill Irwin from something, I just can't think of what it is. Oh, 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 this is the guy, um, uh, he was a therapist in Law & Order uh, SVU, that's who gotcha. it is. Okay. But, um, okay, but, but, oh, wait. I, I had another thought, like, who? you know how all the Who's tend to have that same note? Nose, yeah, yeah. I love that there's a character named Hubris. Hubris. <laughs> so yeah, so all of the all the Who's have that that characteristic nose that they're drawn with in the in the movie, or they're 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 uh, make up to with in the movie. But that wasn't um, that wasn't the way it was done in the original story. I have a theory that with all of these swingers parties that they go to, this is just a huge fucking inbred community. Oh, absolutely. Um, hey, Mark, we're going to need to see a picture of your nose real quick. Okay. Oh, I will hold on. All the issues that my family has, none of us are inbred. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that your parent is actually a who from the, uh, swinger, from the swinger party. Jeff, you had something you wanted to share about Krimbus. Yeah, oh, Barty Krimbus. Krimbus. All right. So, uh, um, as we're all quite aware, Christmas and the Catholic Church tend to, you know, they try and do things together, right? Sure. Yes, if so we're talking about them both seen, as an entity. Has anyone seen the huge swing in a mix that is the uh, mist that is the Vatican Christmas this year? No. That's what a picture the of their fuck nativity am I looking set. at here, Jeff? That's what? the Vatican nativity scene for 2020. This what looks. The, that's this that is looks, fucking. <laughs> this is a fucking Frankenstein situation. That looks it's really it looks like I, they just I act, the box from Hellraiser. I actually really like this because that's pagan as hell. I love it. <laughs> you know what I feel like I'm looking at right here? Why it is looks that? like they're trying. It looks like a giant fucking voodoo doll of Aaron Hansen, and. Uh, <laughs> And Julian is the one of the is is Joseph and fucking Chris is fucking uh, Mary on the other side. Like this is just a this is an homage to fucking YouTube gamers. That's all it is. Dude, it is like the the daylight version's not much better. It's, oh no, no Joseph so Joseph awful. is Ethan Klein from H three H three. Oh my god, <laughs> um, listeners, they, they we we shared. Like, uh... They look like one of those, not the Lego people, but like, they look like Weebles Wobbles, oh, but they don't oh, yeah, yeah. The, oh, they, No, they look like Playmobil. That's what it is, yeah. The, the <laughs> little, the, I think it's literally just called the Little People series. Um, <laughs> so, listeners, we're going to we're gonna share this to our, our Instagram and Twitter so you guys can see what the fuck we're looking I'm at. I'm very concerned about what's happening with this. I'm going to assume this is an angel? Like uh, The, what the one that it? looks like a Cenobite in the middle? It looks like um, its flesh was removed, and we're looking at its rib cage. <laughs> and that's hot as shit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I just found my favorite one, guys. Uh-oh, okay, there's more. I'm uploading another picture. Oh there's my. a spaceman. No, no. fucking <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy uh. shit! They have a fucking samurai warrior, a spaceman. 
and fucking one of the the band members from uh, Star Wars up in this bitch. Oh, I love that band. I think that's supposed to be a Roman centurion, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think Roman also, centurions ever had that point? kind of shit. Also, what the fuck is going on with this one off to the off to the right? What's right. It suck, what's it sucking on? What, what that's a that? that's that's a that's a fucking instrument, dude. Wait, it's like, what is... a, it's like a pan flute fail. Is it that looks like it? Is that supposed it's... to be a turkey? That thing looks like it's sucking on a <laughs> right? the thing in front of the dude. It's like a seal or a turkey. No, I can't fucking... That's a fucking. That's a fucking turkey. I didn't know they had turkeys in the east. In the Dude, it looks like a fucking seal. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> it's such a, a popular dish in the east that they named an entire fucking country after it. <laughs> 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 and it was like a spaceman. I, I, love the, I love that there's a spaceman. <laughs> right? <laughs> I am all about... Uh, you know what? Spa uh, Christmas spaceman for, for president. Hashtag 2024. Oh. Guys, you know there's another Christmas spaceman, right? Hold you're, on. You're, you're fucking with is me this right now. They're... Red, is this red little thing here in the middle supposed to be? Are they unveiling a different character every single day of no. Christmas? No, 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 no. Jesus here in the middle? No, this is just... Oh, that thing? I think that's just going to be shown Christmas Day. Because most yeah, of the they're revealing don't put every Jesus single out until... New... I like the Christmas idea Day. that it's just like an advent, a weird fucking advent calendar made out of stone pillars. Where I they're am unveiling a new one every single day. Dude, <laughs> I am. And I, I might convert to Catholicism after seeing this shit. Oh, you gotta be careful with them words. You're not in the right state to say that. Uh, You're right. You're not wrong. I, but, that, but that's I not going to be forever. I just want to see more of this. This is just making me want to get deeper and deeper into this weird ass nativity set. Because all the way in the in the one that um, what what number picture was that, that you sent the third picture oh, the one that was taken at night. My God, yeah. Look, there's a fucking wise man off to the side back there. Oh yeah. Holy shit, you're not wrong. Um, you oh, know yeah. what this you know what this very much reminds me of? What a weird uh, ass version of a Doctor Who episode, Christmas episode. Oh, kind of, yes. yeah. But, I like this next one but, so much more. Do you did you guys ever see that that uh, weird fucking movie from uh, the nineties or late eighties, uh, the Indian in the cupboard? Yes. Oh yeah. Do you Dude, remember? Okay, so you're right, right. I've read the book as well, but you remember how he was stealing a bunch of props from the uh, from his school's <laughs> diorama of the Native American village and just replacing it with his fucking action figures. Yeah, I remember. This, is what it, this looks exactly like that. Like it's like, oh man, we don't have the three wise men. What do we do? No, uh, no, no, no. You know what this is? This is fucking Rowan Atkinson in that. Um, um, God damn it! What's his name? Um, Mr. Bean. Yes, the Mr. Bean Christmas, where he's just like at the department store, like flying in a Dalek into the nativity scene. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen that in such a long fucking time. Oh, Look, man, I'm not usually one for religion, but like I am so fucking about what I'm seeing on this nativity I will, scene. Like, I legitimately would love to see this in person. <laughs> this is guys, the where, one that I just shared. This is in Vatican City. Oh my god. Hmm. Guys, can we go to the Vatican? Inside the nation inside Rome, basically. Guys, can we go to the Vatican? So guys, I would the bottom one that I shared. You, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. An episode in the Vatican? I don't know if that's legal. Oh. Real quick, I just, Jeff, I hate to I hate to call you out, but isn't Rome just a city in Italy? Yes, yes. it is. And the Vatican is the only nation within a city. Rome, Holy shit. That, yeah, Vatican City is only like a mile, not even a mile big, dude. Vatican right, well, I knew that the Vatican City. was part of Italy. I just didn't realize that it was a part of Italy that was also, like, that was a part of Rome. It is 109 also, acres. Also, and it is that, completely within Rome. Hold on. Say, it's how many acres? 109. 109. That's smaller than Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, how long? Okay, let's be real here, though. How long do you think it's going to take? Pictures, there's much worse rides. How do you think? How long do you think it's going to take until the Disney tries to become its own nation? Though? Let's be real here. I mean, didn't they already do that with Disney World? Basically, no. They're smarter than they that because they know you can make own, more money as a corporation. They established their own. They established their own form of government 
in town township for guys the they've, they've got disney their own world. currency disney world i'm sorry well, they, well they they've do. got their own currency too they got they got disney dollars which are fucking sweet but yeah, worthless outside of disney yeah i think guys. i think dave Chappelle did a whole a whole stand-up routine about it and it was hilarious anyway back to the guys. back to the vatican the, the bottom picture the red thing that's clearly at some point meant to be baby Jesus looks like an egg from a- the alien franchise about to hatch. And the angel looks like a Cenobite. It looks like <laughs> someone opened the Hellraiser box on board a ship in an alien movie. Also, what the fuck is up with this lightning in the background? Like, you know what mountain that looks like? It makes it look like a Brandon, do you know what that looks like? What? What does it look like? Remember that episode of Doctor Who with the the li- the crack on the that crack. great wall? That's what that yeah. fucking looks like. It does look like the crack in the wall. Guys, holy no, fucking shit. This is be, the greatest to... This is the greatest fucking crossover we've ever had in history. I will say, <laughs> I will say while we are shitting on the, you know, joking about what these look like, I will say that these look like full stone pillars that they sculpted, and I can't help but appreciate that. Oh, like no, the, absolutely. Like the donkey and the the bison or the bull or whatever this is over here. Like, you can see the cross sections of the stones that they used. Yeah, that, like, I'm not, I'm not shitting on the fact that this is what, I, I'm just saying this looks fucking dope, but it also looks like some ancient <laughs> shit post that people might do. I mean, <laughs> this is the original. Guys, meme. The the headline that the New York Times went with: "In a tough year, a nativity scene that has had problems." <laughs> uh, God, God bless the Catholics. I don't say that very often, but God bless the Catholics, man. I mean, they I really say God bless the artists who put this together. But... God bless uh, us, everyone. Mary. Fucking Christmas. Oh, Marty Crimble's everyone. Oh my god. This is <laughs> fuck. The only okay. thing this nativity scene needs now is an Uncle Eddie. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, how fucking amazing would it be if it wasn't baby Jesus? It was baby Uncle Eddie. <laughs> oh my god. I, I last year. Last year, someone sculpted the Holy Family, the Magi, Angels, and Donkeys out of two hundred or out of seven hundred and twenty tons of beach sand. And this year, we got this. <laughs> I was really like prepared for you to say butter. They just sculpted it out of butter. I was so no, guys, move. guys, it wasn't done by fucking Paula Dean. <laughs> Didn't, wasn't there a movie with um, Sandra Bullock or something about a butter sculptor? I'm just thinking of uh, uh, that one episode of Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23. I've never seen that oh, movie. I don't, I don't know what you're talking oh, about. No, no, no. Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23 is a show that stars the chick who plays um, Jessica Kristen Jones. Ritter. Kristen yep. Ritter. And, it's, uh, also, it's, it's also just Don't Trust the Bee. They don't call her a bitch. No, they call her a bitch in the very first episode. Yeah, but they don't well, say the, the, the name. Title, they the don't... titles don't trust the B in Department 23. I don't believe that. Anyway, um, it's her and her best friend, um, J- uh, James Vanderbeek, who plays James Vanderbeek making fun of James Vanderbeek. It's pretty funny. Those are my favorite kind of actors is when they make fun of themselves. There's uh, one episode where like he's deep, he's lost deep in thought, and he's riding his motorcycle, and his hair is whipping in the wind, and his his uh, scarf is blowing behind him in the distance, and you know he comes to a conclusion, and he uh, stops his bike, and he puts down the kickstand, and they zoom out, and he's just in his living room on a motorcycle, and his <laughs> assistant got a big heavy fan blowing on him because that's how he likes to think. Okay, I have a hypothetical for you guys. Oh, is it Christmassy? Sure, you can make it Christmassy if you want. I mean, it it involves giving. Uh Oh, okay. I like where this is going. (laughs) Are we going to join the Jelly of a Month Club? (laughs) That's the gift that keeps on giving all year, Clark. That it is, Edward. That it is. (laughs) 
Um, so, so you are given the opera. You are given a free TV. Okay. You're super yes. excited about this TV. Um, and they gave it to you with these explicit instructions of like, uh, you know, I want you to have like the like super awesome like uh, outdoor setup where you have your TV under your patio and everything for all your like your friends and stuff to come over. The neighbors come over and everything, and you know you're grilling out and you're having a great time. The only thing this TV plays, however, is hardcore porn. <laughs> I mean, that's all Mark's TVs play anyway. Oh wait. <laughs> Well, yeah, my, my, you guys remember that episode of Friends where they just have the free porn on the TV? That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, somebody. Nice, yeah. That's great. Right. Uh, wait a minute, uh, Brandon. How big is the TV? First of all, I mean it. It's at least a fifty inch TV. Is that the, is that really the concern here, Key? Well, because if you think about it, if it, it well, if it's only gonna play porn, I mean, I could just insert my HDMI and just use it as a game. Uh, like no, 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 no. What he's saying is, is that there's no way to change it. It's just oh. porn. Uh, uh, you can plug uh, in whatever uh, device. And oh, also, the, the best part is it plays 4K porn. If you oh, really oh, like it, oh. plays the high rendered stuff. Now, for a couple questions. One. Yes. Can I still control volume? Yes. <laughs> and, but two. But you can, can only do it once a day. <laughs> oh. oh brandon you're an evil bitch you really no. are evil you, you are I the change, fucking devil wait, wait. do you mean i could change the volume and then i could i cannot change the volume again for 24 hours yes. or do you mean like every night at midnight 01 that's when i have it no, it's, can... it's a full it's a full 24 hour cycle and once you change oh. the volume and here's the thing you have to change the volume Wait a minute, can you at least turn this fucking thing off? So, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So, the, you cannot turn the TV off. Ah. Uh, hold up, quick question. Following up on what you said about the has to be changed every 24 hours. So, what if you, like, are a minute off? Does that fuck with the cycle? No, 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 no. It's within a 24-hour period. Wait a minute, can you change the porn into something else? I mean, like another porn. No, or is, it's, it, is it's it just sure. a consistent same one? No, 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 no. no. Well, yeah. You can absolutely change the porn, but so all this... it plays. Like, imagine if you had a Pornhub-supported TV. It's like Amazon Prime, but it's just... I know. Porn. I'm just wondering, because, like, how you were just saying, like, you can't Brandon, change, how much like, Black Mirror have you been watching? <laughs> <laughs> this is how my brain works. So nice. to answer your question, I mean it's a fucking 4K TV. Hell yeah, I'm taking. I don't care if it's just porn. I'm not the one that's going to um, suffer. Yes, but I'm all right. Have but a here's the real thing: weird, creepy it's, secret room. But it's all, no, because it's for your outdoor patio that your neighbors can hear because it's hooked up to an outdoor sound system. Damn, uh, and it's within direct eye shot <laughs> of the kids that live next door that have a fort. <laughs> see, see. Oh, oh my here's, god. Here's where here's, you that's win where that's to draw the line. No, 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 no. Here's <laughs> how to win that scenario. Okay. All right. I'm going to live Unabomber style. <laughs> I, got, I, I got a shack, but I got a real nice deck. But there's no one <laughs> Brandon's got a pretty nice <laughs> deck, too. <laughs> You know, scare here's, off the here's the thing is, is up to the, I would draw, I draw the line at the kids being exposed to it. Cause at that point you're going to go on a special list and you're going to have a hard time finding anyone else to live after that. Yeah. Hi, my name's uh hi, I'm, okay. I'm Brandon Philbrick. I live in the, the house next door. I am a registered sex offender. <laughs> oh, it's mm. really nice of you to come by and introduce yourself to everyone. Well, there's a specific law that says so, I have to. I'm just Here's imagining the... like Jeff. Uh, I'm just imagining Jeff being off the grid for like at least a few months, and then he comes back like, "Whoa, buddy, why is just one of your forearms bigger than the other?" <laughs> it's like veiny as Jeff, fuck. Jeff, you've been working out, kind of. You look a little. <laughs> you look. A, you look. You look really, really slim. Have, have, have you been eating enough, or are you dehydrated? <laughs> I, I'm living off a steady protein diet. I'll, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's no. Here's the thing: on the back porch, and he's got a hamster feeder that he just li the little water dispenser. God damn just, it! It's just got I a thought you were talking about. Mix. 
I, I fuck me. I thought you were talking about like a a a, a device that feeds hamsters into a certain place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's where my mind went. Uh, Just imagine how weird you are every like three months when you have to come back into society for like <laughs> for food and stuff. Oh my god. So, um, Brandon, <laughs> I, I have to, I have to ask: Is are you planning on getting me something special for Christmas? Is that what this is all about? I mean, you don't know. I will say, just you know, <laughs> he's gonna get you a 4K TV to watch porn. Nothing I mean, but porn. Hell yeah! Let's like once we get our once we get the office set up, you know, uh, when we're big and famous, we're gonna have a. <laughs> it's always gonna be a TV in the background playing porn. There's always gonna be a, there's gonna be a. I'm gonna get a terabyte of porn and just have it plugged into the TV at all times. That would be a perfect gag to where we had like guests come on the show be like oh yeah you know uh why don't you sit here for like you know the next 15 20 minutes we have to set up uh you watch tv if you like and uh yeah we'll come get you and then they just sit down the joke turn on, on the tv and boom, boom full anytime. on porn well it'd be great because we don't you know they have no idea and they just like yeah you know we're just setting up uh here's a remote tv but we have it rigged so every time the tv turns on it just blares full volume and well, then Steve, and then one of us just comes out uh what the fuck you doing man but no 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 but like one of us has to be controlling another they'll have like a like a decoy remote so that way we can turn it on from like a different place so when they're like freaking out like what the fuck like what do i do it's not turning off well that's the best part it takes us fucking seven minutes to set everything up and we don't even need any multiple people to do it so we have one person keeping an eye on them the other person just fucking controlling it from the back room i like this i like this universe that we're building I really do. I like this gag already. <laughs> oh fuck! So actually, you know, I, this brings me. Well, wait, wait, of... So well, there's one part we're th- we're not thinking about here. Does it eventually get to a point where it's just normal to you, and someone comes over and you just forget? Oh, that, absolutely. That's an offensive thing. That like, is absolutely what? a thing that's going to happen. You become so then so you're sitting there that. and you're like, man, why is this guy acting so weird? <laughs> what are yeah. you, some kind of fucking prude? All right, so I have <laughs> worst right, first so dates ever. That reminds me of a story that you, I agree hold on, hold on, Brandon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you just say worst first date ever? You sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't All know. Right. Who knows? He might like it, or she. We don't know. Uh, Man, so that's anyway. a real quick litmus test to find your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was watching this one last night. You got good taste. <laughs> Oh, actually, you know what? You can see me walking through the background over here. <laughs> so, like an episode of Friends where Joey uh, just wa- like he couldn't do it, so he just acted in it. Yeah. Like, oh, wait, wait! I'm behind the guy's butt. All right, and there I am. There I am. There I am. There I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was um, uh, that's great. One of my so I was talking about becoming desensitized to the fact that you know it's weird and you have you know and you just have people come over so i've recently yeah. heard a story I'm, I'm gonna leave names out of it so i have a friend that when they you know they one of their first roommates they had had um was a practicing nudist and um them. he just was <laughs> totally cool with the whole with the whole nudist thing he's like yeah you know what man like i it's totally fine. Like it doesn't bother me at all. Like whatever. Well, How much was he to... practicing nudist? Um, I mean, so here's the thing. As soon as like this person, is this guy having nudist... real awkward grocery runs? No, 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 no. no. They weren't like that. Um, most nudists, house... most nudists will dress when they leave the house. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So, anyways, they had some friends come over, and um, this person oh, just no. completely, completely forgot. Oh, and like, my no. God. No, this they, person didn't. They came over, and this person just introduces, you know, my friend just introduces, like, oh, yeah, so this is my roommate so-and-so, and this is, you know, and they shake hands and meet, and and then the roommate turns and goes, and if y'all will excuse me, I'm going to go put on some clothes real quick. Oh, <laughs> and, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> And it's at oh. this moment that my, it's at this moment that my friend realizes, like, oh my, oh, oh my god, oh my god, and just like turns to his friend and is like, 
I am so sorry. Uh, I it totally just escaped my mind. I didn't even think about it. And uh, the best part about this is his friend was Mormon. Had <laughs> come over, and uh, to which to which her response was, "That's totally fine. This is the best thing I've seen in months." <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my god, that is yeah. fucking amazing. So, I think, that person, you, I think in that situation, you owe the roommate an apology more than the random friend you brought I over. Think so, I honestly, uh, yeah, oh, I think god. so. What I love is just the whole that you know the roommates just like cool and just like and then he feels. Excuse me, I'm gonna go put on some clothes real quick. <laughs> just like, <laughs> all right, and if you don't mind, I'm gonna go cover up my balls. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out, he just covered his balls, everything else is out. He just wrapped a oh, tube sock right. around his cock and balls. Just a man thong. Oh. But the wings oh. sticking out of the top of it. Just the tip. <laughs> he's just done the he's just Texas tucking it all the way. <laughs> I don't There's... know what the fuck Texas tucks means, but I don't that's like it. where you aim that's where you like have a belt on, but your like your dick is sticking up towards nope. your like towards your yep. chin. What the fuck? How you have never, I never heard that term? Wait, yeah, you've never it. heard of this? I've the never heard that. this term. Yeah. What? Here's yeah. This here's is the, the first time I've heard of it. So. Here's the thing: is, is I, my uh, my older sister who I, who I uh, live with right now is okay. very like she's very open minded about a lot of things. Like, is you she know. known for doing the Texas talk too? No. <laughs> here's the thing: is, is I regularly get to introduce her to new and fucked up things. Sweet. Like she didn't gonna tell her about the Texas tuck. Absolutely, yeah. I'm telling her about the Texas tuck. Hell yeah, I'm telling her about the Texas cool. tuck. So, um, one of so like I moved in with them last year, right around Christmas time, right? And one of the first things that I ever got to explain to her wasn't it wasn't one of those like I was maliciously going like <laughs> as I was telling her about it. It was more of just like, hey, hey, Mark, quick question. Do you know what such and such is? And I was like, oh yeah, it's blank. And she's like. That's fucking horrible. So anyway, uh, the first thing I ever got to explain to her what they were were furries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and what a they're horrible! They're just very unique. What a great fucking way to start off our our like relationship as like I'm roommates. <laughs> so uh, like, what like I'm not, I'm... Is the reason she's asking is she found his costume. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I did get the Mark Easter Bear costume open, at their Mark, place. Mark left open his uh, internet browser. Oh, the, that's <laughs> the least of my concerns if she sees furry porn on my computer. So, so there's um, wow. So there's uh, there's this comedian that I listen to, and he was telling a story once about how, for some reason, the way that he really gets is able to visualize his. Um, jokes is he writes them in big letters on um, like he writes the premise on a poster board and just kind of leaves it sitting in like different areas of his house. So when he walks by, like maybe a subconscious part of his mind hits it, you know, and uh, yeah, okay. um, together. Well, one day he wrote a joke uh, and he left it sitting up and he forgot about it for months <laughs> until he brought a girl home and he opens his door to his apartment, and right inside is a big poster board that says, People to Kill. And there's like <laughs> a couple. <laughs> there's a couple of names on there, and then like the third or fourth one just says, Random. Oh my god. <laughs> and then they, like, <laughs> He explained in detail everything to the girl. He's like, I'm a comedian. It's just a joke, blah, blah, blah. And she, and she, he, she finally calmed her down and she was about to stay, but he just couldn't let go of the joke. So he looking her in the eye the entire time, picked up a marker and slowly started crossing out random. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Right? So, um, speaking of, Speaking of fucked up porn, and it's the holidays, right? Um, you know what's amazing to me? What? The, what's what? amazing to me is the sheer amount of Grinch porn there is. <laughs> That's surprising to you? No, no. Here's the thing. is, like I can imagine, like, 
you know, uh, like hentai. People draw shit all the time. It, it it is like that's just the nature of the internet. I am talking about like well done, like full HD pornography. Like they hired a. Why did you put so much emph- emphasis on? The yeah, porn why did you do that? <laughs> I don't you know. It's sound just, like a works. Sunday preacher getting up talking about how the kids are being corrupted by pornography. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Look, what's man. Your what's yeah, Jeff? What's up? Is that considered parody or furry? Uh, I would say it fall. I'd say I, furry parody. I don't know. That's furry For because rarity? I wouldn't say it's furry because yes, while the Grinch is has like a. An, obs- an excessive body hair like the who's are technically humanoids are you going to say that the Grinch is just an abnormally hairy who that's all he is I mean given in the in the oh fuck no, here we go I'm right. I will no, say you're, you're allowing no, hold on no I'm actually oh my no, no I'm no, actually no, with me. <laughs> I'm actually with you on this a little bit, Mark, because if you look at the original animated and the book, I mean, they're not wearing clothes. They just have, like, furry bodies. He's the only one. Well, yeah, he's he's the only one that's naked. In the original, the Who's are wearing clothing. And it does. I mean, yeah. No, here's here's the thing. It's a shaped face, like, with the nose and the lip. I'll be honest. With this picture that I just shared... He kind of looks like Kerwit the Frog's older brother. Kind of. (laughs) Now, if you'll allow me to rabbit hole for a moment here, because I do have a full explanation as to what's going on with the Grinch. Okay. Um, So there is actually one other, I believe only one other published Dr. Seuss story that involves not the Grinch, but a Grinch. Okay. Um, A Halloween book? No, no, no. So that there was actually a Halloween special that they did back when they were doing all the uh, Gr- Dr. Seuss cartoons, but that wasn't okay. considered part of the – that wasn't um, like book canon, I guess, would be the right term. Um, so there was actually – oh, God. It was, it was one of his unpublished things that came out later. It was uh, basically the like Grinch – no, 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 no. Hold on. I, I'm actually pulling Anytime it up for you. Mark Ever is just like, it was never released. <laughs> no, it was. No, they, they released it later in a compendium that they, that he did. Um, I'm just trying to remember what the other character in the book was. Can you guys just imagine after Mark's death and they find all of the things that Mark, quote, didn't release? <laughs> oh, someone <laughs> would read that book and just immediately start carving, like digging their eyes out of their skull. Um, okay, so, anywho. <laughs> yep. You see what I did there? Oh, yes, we, yes, we like did. in the film. Yeah. yeah. Grinch, um, anyway, you. okay, so, so the Grinch is part, is actually part of a race of, like, called the Grinches. So, he's not even, like, his name's not he's even the Grinch. Gr- sort like, of genocide? No. Um, he just he's actually <laughs> <laughs> Um so the Grinch was a Frank? No, oh, okay. I can't you know I can't keep that. Right. You know I can't keep that in. <laughs> um Oh boy. So the Grinch <laughs> was part of a race called just called Grinches. Like uh Mark, where's this information coming from? From the books. Like, this is straight up from a book. All right. I'm trying to remember what the, the, the short story that I've got this information from. It comes from the right, dark I'm... web. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's called the, the Hubub and the Grinch. I do apologize. So this was originally printed in a magazine before they actually released it in, the, in a book format. Um, so according to the Hubub and the Grinch, the Grinches are a race of the Who's, uh, but they typically are like pranksters and, and, uh, just end up playing tr- tr- jokes on people to Grinch Holy them out crap, of their money. He's not making this up. I know he's not. I'm on the Wikipedia page right now and he's absolutely you know, correct. Fucking told you. So here's the, th- <laughs> so with, with the Grinch that we see in the movie, 
like uh, like there was obvious just the, oh fuck i just i could i i can't say the word obviously there we go um so what likely happened was that the grinch just kind of when he was born got blown off course and ended up in the wrong place um so yeah he's not just a he's not it's not that he's a a, a furry who he's just a completely different species which i guess in turn could mean that it's a, a furry parody interesting so anyway, um, that aside, uh, what the reason I'm I'm more shocked about the the, the Grinch pornography is, uh, like it wasn't like low budget at all. It was like the house that they were fucking in looked like the house from the live action Grinch film. Like the costumes they got were legit, and he was even I wearing like the, the idea uh... that they went to Universal. I'm like, <laughs> hey, can we borrow this suit for just, you know all that? Like 45 like, minutes to an hour. I like the idea of all the actors in that film. I was just are, about to bring this up. I, my, my theory, my, I see in my head something along the lines of like, they were just normal kids. They're like, hey, um, dad, I'm going to go into the adult industry. <laughs> and you know how dad in the 70s to get kids to not do bad things? Like, a kid was smoking a cigarette, so the dad would sit there and make them smoke an entire pack in front of him. This is some dad's response. That <laughs> His son goes, Mom, Dad, I want to work in the adult industry. So this is the dad. No, no, no. no. Here's what happens. Bang catch- an entire pack of smokes. Here's what happens. They end up catching him, and he's watching some porn and stuff, and you're like, and his dad's just like, oh, really, son? This is what you get your jollies off to? Well, how about I just make you watch eight hours consecutively, uh, consecutively of this while I watch? And he just oh. makes you watch all of this. <laughs> that that's gets, gets in his head and fucks him up. The, worst, the worst part of that part is, is, of that is that watching is it for eight hours. I think the worst part is the dad's getting off on it and the kid's just having a horrible day. No, no, I didn't mean the kid watching eight hours of porn. I mean the dad no, watching no, no, the no, kid Jeff, watching porn let's, for eight let's, hours. Be, let's be honest. If the, if the dad is punishing a kid and making him do that, um, you know the dad is just dead below the waist. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's here's the he thing got, that I would... Yeah, look, this is, he's probably a working class man. He got a little too close to the factory line one day, dicking around, and all of a sudden, whoop, it's gone. It's just dicking around. I like that, Brandon. That was, that was clever. <laughs> Thank you. See, I was thinking more along the lines of this is... You know how you take certain medications and there's certain side effects? Do you think this is just a side effect of lobotomies and or electroshock therapy? Just Possibly. enjoying this type of uh, film. That well, shit. Also, hold on. Can you huh. imagine? Can you imagine? So, like, you're in the porn industry, and you're like, all right. Well, guess it's I can try to day. imagine being in the guess porn it's industry. An, guess it's another day of acting like I'm somebody's stepbrother who they get stuck <laughs> in the washing machine. <laughs> and they come walking around the corner. They come walking around the corner with the fucking cheermeister sweater. And they're like, all right, put it on. And they're like, excuse me? And they're what? like, yeah, come yep, on. Guys. Put it come on. on. Come on, come on, man. You're uh, you're the fucking We've Grinch. Got, We've got it on loan for 20 minutes. Get it on. He ends up He ends up having to go into a makeup chair for like three hours. And he's like, this is the weirdest porn set I've ever been on. Like, what, what's hey, happening? Uh, they're they're going around the room like they're like, we need uh, we need porn stars that know a little bit about the Grinch, and none of them are raising that, their hand. And then and over the corner, like, all right, we need you know who's somebody that's relatively unfuckable but has is really good at impressions. And over in the corner, the Ron Howard just it. raising his hand. <laughs> he, we can put on a, we can put on a good amount of makeup on him. It'll be fine. He'll he'll be fine. Turns what? out the reason it looks so good, and the reason Jim Carrey got horrible claustrophobia, are in fact the same reason. Here, move. here's no. Here's the here's the thing that I was thinking. What, is, would, is, what would be even greater is that the director actually goes full meta with it and comes on like he is Ron Howard directing a porno of the Grinch. I like to think that it actually just is Ron Howard directing this porno. <laughs> directing, no, but, 
starring writing <laughs> here's the thing is is the actor so the actress that played uh cindy lou who taylor momsen wait 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 sorry is that in the adult the version or <laughs> no, no. in the actual in yeah. the actual film taylor hold momsen, on that's the actress... another question i have where yeah. is this going because it oh, better not so here's <laughs> the thing is in this adult version of the Grinch, uh, there is an adult version of Cindy Lou Who. Um, no, I'm not okay. I don't. I don't. I, mm, 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 mm. And and here was the only thing I was thinking is as I watched. This Grinch it. supposedly like 60 years old now, because while that's still problematic for me. Um, <laughs> here's the thing: is, is according according to the lore of the Grinch, the Grinch was 53 years old. At the time of the movie. Um, so All right, then I, I would like to talk about how limber that 53-year-old, you know, No man joke. He folded himself in half trying to go down a chimney, and the next day when he's celebrating with the Who's, he does not complain about his back hurting once. <laughs> that is but actually here's, true. <laughs> here's something else you got to think about. We don't know what the lifespan of a Who is. Like, it could be, it well, could be 500 years. Like Exactly. We don't know what their life is. Maybe so you grow to maturity and then I you just really live. Which, all right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna spin this back around into the conversation that we originally had about the Grinch and okay. how adult the you know, with the those who's having a fucking orgy. I want to know, does this porno open up with baby Grinch in the tree? <laughs> watching all these dudes fucking oh, one another and then he no. just grows up and wants to be the greatest that is not what happens what does happen though is we get like adult version of cindy lou who fucking the grinch and as i was watching this porno this is this... <laughs> like a candy cane what no because he's the grinch. It like a candy cane okay then is it like a christmas tree i mean there was a lot of fur so did she say it did please say that somebody said in the porno that I would fuck you with a nine and a half foot pole? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't you know remember, what, but Brandon, if they didn't, that's a that's a very missed opportunity they had. Um, Brandon, we should bring back that Lady Gaga song in it the entire time. Was that their song? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually where she got the inspiration for that beat that she used. That was the music oh. from <laughs> Um, anyway, Brandon, so what we I was... should, uh, oh, so Brandon, we should go and make uh, music for porns like they did back in the like you know seventies, eighties, and nineties. It's, it's just a whole lot of wah pedal and. Yeah, I'm gonna stand by it. The sh music in Shaft was straight up seventies porno music. <laughs> um, so well, here's here's and that's why ever. and that's why the sh shaft has some of the best music <laughs> for a soundtrack. <laughs> I, I, so the only complaint I had about this Grinch porno, aside from the obvious, uh, which is was the uh, so yeah, Mark. When it comes to you, you the obvious is an obvious, buddy. Oh, um, because it was you know adult Cindy Lou who sleeping with at this point, probably in his mid sixties to, to late sixties version of the Grinch uh, was that they, so you guys know the actress that played um, Cindy Lou who like she's, she later on went to be like a very, like a, a she, fairly uh, popular. She's a musician actually. Right. She's a, a grunge musician, right? Yeah. And I was they thinking didn't have her come back and reprise her role. Did they? No. And that's why I was upset. I was like, man, Fucking Taylor Momsen would have been perfect for this role because she's, let's be honest here, she's done more than her fair share of nude nude sh uh, shoots and stuff. What? So. What? Um, Who is this? Taylor Momsen. Uh, so the actress that played Cindy Lou Who in the original movie, uh, she f fucking grew up like she's gorgeous, like like still fucking. Mm. Is it because she dresses goth? <laughs> Probably that probably has a lot to do with it, but this is what she looks like now, or uh, at least like in recent history. Um, but she has done oh, wow. like nude. She has done nude photo shoots before, and from the looks of that eyeliner, lots of heroin. 
Um, wow, like this rude. is. <laughs> she. I don't think she's done heroin. But like this is like some of her her co- like her outfits that she's worn on stage oh are very very. Uh, it's no different than what like Lady Gaga or other punk artists have done on stage. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Well, that's clearly just her. Uh, you know, is, her wait church. a minute. Church. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That can't be her. What What is the name of the band that she is in? Press Fuckers. What? What? Uh, she is in the band The Pretty Reckless. I listen to her all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I'm saying I is... I this is her. I didn't know that was her until <laughs> you sent that picture. And I was like, I <laughs> absolutely have seen this album cover before. Wait a second. You didn't Fucking realize Brandon. it when they did their cover for Where Are You Christmas? I haven't heard it, but now I need to go find it. It's not real. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fucking with you, Brandon. Okay. Oh. But, yeah, um, this, this, so, again, I, I was... shit out of the Pretty Reckless. They are badass. I was just disappointed that we had the opportunity to bring, to have, you know, a character or a, a, an actress reprise her role from, you know, her youth, and they didn't go with that. They chose to hire some porn star. I hate recasting and move in classics like that, you know. <laughs> and you think that's bad? What do you see the uh, adult parody of Home Alone? Oh no! Jesus, God, Taylor Mom's in. Her voice re- is fucking incredible. Here's the thing: is I remember when I found out what Taylor Mom's in did after she got uh, after she was done, or like after she grew out of her child star phase and i about shit my pants when i found out because that was like prime horny version of mark in a, as a teenager you know <laughs> like i remember still, i was uh, still less destructive than what macaulay colkin did when he got out of his child star phase um you Dude. mean his heavy metal band about pizza no hanging out with michael <laughs> Dude jackson did a shitload of coke Dude, I love Macaulay Culkin nowadays. He went full out art house too. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, he lived. He moved to Paris pretty young. Um, so that, guys, uh, Bohemia scene. What's up? Um, so I know you were joking when you said there's a Home Alone porn parody. No, no, you're full of, no. No, you're full of shit. Um, it's a Home Alone porn parody. <laughs> Oh no! It's called Home Alone with a question mark at the end. Return of the Wet Bandits. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, guys, there is a fucking Home Alone porn parody, and I am all about it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So local grannies near me need cock. I don't know if I should sign up for that or not. Careful, you might find your mom on there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the fur coat and pearl necklace. Man, at this point, I'd be concerned I mean, about sh- going onto any porn uh, like hookup site knowing your mom and dad's proclivities. Guys, stop. Let me enjoy something in life. Hey, fuck. Have we come to an agreement about making that shirt yet? Because I would, I would have really loved that shirt for Christmas, actually. <laughs> yes, I will fucking <laughs> I would, make a version what? of that goddamn shirt for you, Key. Merry I, fucking I wa- Christmas. I want that on an ugly Christmas sweater. All right. Thank you. Okay, that's a little the too Christmas much effort, version, but I'll In the Christmas God. version, the instead of white pearls, there it it just goes green, white, green or green, red, green, red, green, red, it's, green, red. They're just it's like ornaments and shit. Um <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, so we we've we've jumped on the porn thing. Can 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 I can I bring up a topic that's not porn related? Am I allowed sure. to do that I anymore? Mean, you yeah, brought it up, so <laughs> I did not. I did not bring up porn. This was me. This was all me. <laughs> <laughs> I was the. I was well behaved for once. I tried to steer the conversation no, away from it. Grinch. You brought up Grinch, dude. The Grinch wasn't where the conversation started. I it don't went remember from where Grinch it started. Home Alone. The Return it of the was, Wet Bandits. Irregardless, irregardless, it wasn't me that started this conversation. Oh my now, God, Mark. I Mark, made. I there, brought up. Thing to say. Yes. How much freakier do you think the sequel to this is 
the return of the sticky bandits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> what about Home Alone 4? There's or already been a Home Alone 4. 4. I know. I'm talking about with all like those like Russian spies and everything that get involved. That was that Wait, was Home Alone that three. Was, yeah, that was three. Right. Home Alone it four was the, the one uh, where they uh, they recasted yeah. Kevin and may, and just pretended like nothing changed. Oh Jesus, uh, you're right. Oh, Home Alone four was a girl. No, no, that's Home Alone five. Home yeah. Alone four. A, if I'm yeah. if I'm not mistaken, the only actor that came back for Home Alone four. That was supposed to be like the originals. Uh, French Stewart is in Home Alone Four. Oh, who? dude, it was f- French Stewart from uh, Third Rock from the Sun. From the Sun. Who? Uh, Missy Piles in it? Yeah. So, she, so you know what? French, what? French Stewart dude. played uh, replaced Mar or the actor that played Marv. Oh. Wait. So who came back? So the only actor, I'm pretty sure the only actor that came back for this movie was uh, the actor that played the dad from the original two. Oh, uh, he's a memorable uh, one. That's the, exactly. Speaking of the dad, I always wanted to know what the fuck that guy did because that big ass house, he was able to afford nine, like literally nine tickets all the way to fucking Paris, dude. I'm like, what the fuck did this guy do? Let's talk about hey. the fucking credit card limit on that card that Kevin got a hold Seriously. of in the sequel. Jeez. Yes, dude. Oh, guys, not just that. He's... The area where that house is from, it, it like you won't find a house for less than a million dollars there. The cheapest yeah. house. Well, that's, here's, that here's the thing: is that's that's modern day though. Like, given yes, oh. that, like re- still ridiculously outrageous amount that they I would bet the money that, that this guy had to would... make. I bet you that house in the '90s was at least an eight hundred thousand dollar house minimum. No doubt, I have no doubt. But here's here's the thing: is is um, he's a boomer. Boomers <laughs> were doing, boomers were doing just fucking fine in the '90s. Are you saying boomers were booming? Boomers were booming and banging. That's why they had so many kids. <laughs> A Home Alone house sold for one point five eight five million dollars. Yeah. Not only that, yeah, like, what, when did it sell for that? That's, uh, that's a good question. Uh, not only that, because all right, in the second one, he spent nine hundred and sixty-seven dollars on room oh. service, and that was back in nineteen ninety-two. So, how much would that be now? In the present oh, day. No, I don't believe that he was putting away that much food and then was able to run away from two fully a gr- a fully grown men. But dude, did you see like the receipt? It was like nothing but pure fucking junk food. It was like ice cream toppings. Yeah, you name he's, it. A fucking, he's a fucking kid. Oh, <laughs> that made my... Home Alone 6 is just Kevin dealing with diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So speaking of, speaking of Home Alone... Uh, sequels. Kid, Apparent, uh, apparently, yes. they are doing. There, there's a petition out right now to do a remake of the original Home Alone. Um, but the only like the caveat for it is, is they have they get Macaulay Culkin to play eight year old Kevin McAllister again. Oh my god, I would pay but cash money. Thirty eight year old, but with I, uh, with uh, thirty eight year old Macaulay Culkin still playing eight year old Kevin. Oh my I would God. Add, and, and I, do you get do you get Joe Pesci to come back? I mean Oh my god. I would love them to just get the original cast to come back and act like nothing has see, changed. See, I would love oh, man. for you them to bring back I would want for them to bring back Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern. Those two together were just priceless. Like to like just I the do. shit they go through. Well, I so like the I want idea them of them bringing the entire cast back. But the issue is that includes the old guy that lived next door, and it turns out they just bring back his, like his corpse. Or they no, just no, no, no. Like they his just, grandson play it. They just have Macaulay Culkin play the old guy too. How about? Like, there was a point where Macaulay um, Culkin looked just like that fucking guy. So, <laughs> like yesterday. Oh, Buzz, your glow up, woof. Well, guys. You know what I just remembered? That guy who played Buzz looks like he listens to Alex Jones every day. 
No, I'm going to show you one better. That yeah, guy looks yeah. like Alex Jones. Wait, that's... Nice. Holy shit, that's mm-hmm. Buzz? Okay, but the jacket that young Buzz is wearing, that's my high school's varsity jacket. What? Wait, are you that's serious? High- Main South, the high school I went to, that is the varsity jacket. That's cool. So <laughs> here... Okay, so real quick. Somebody somebody broke broke down... Uh, the tra- the expenses that they spent in Home Alone One. Uh huh. Okay. So you had fifteen. You had fifteen tickets from Chicago to Paris on Chris uh, or on Christmas. Eight were, or eleven of them were in coach, and four of them were first class. It comes out Damn. to thirty five thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Holy shit! Oh, that's what it and and, and wait, here's the wait, thing wait. is. Is here, that what it came out to then or now? Now. Yeah. Here. That's the thing. Is is. That's what it's calculated out to now, and flights like that are cheaper now than they were back then. I find that very hard to believe with Wait. how much, with how much longer it is to get through airports and everything. Like I, I have to believe it was cheaper back then. Because I want to know, like back then, like right smack in what was in I think 1990 when the first Home Alone came out. I would want to know how much yeah. it cost right there because that he fucking all right. If he spent that much on a plane ticket to go to like plane tickets to go to Paris and he flipped out on a nine hundred and sixty seven dollar um like room service bill, it's like that seems weird to me, honestly. I'd be fucking freaking out about the whole entire trip itself. Like, oh my god, no. Well maybe it's because he planned for that trip but not the extra nine hundred dollars of room service. Well, I mean they got that hotel for free too, not to mention that because how the, yeah, the clerk the kind second- of fucked up. Yeah, well, then you also get, like, even if you just look at their, their dinner that one night that they're all, like, bef- the night before they all fly out, they spent about $125 on pizza, which, adjusted for inflation for nowadays, would be about $250 worth of pizza. That's right. Oh, I also uh, like the court. Yeah. <laughs> According to data Not- from the U.S. Department of Transportation, the average domestic round trip base airfare in 1990 was $288. Compared to five hundred and fifty four dollars today. Okay. I like how uh, cheap so, the uncle I like how cheap the uncle was when they go to that like weird ass seedy motel and he's like, It didn't look this bad on our honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it, something else that you have to think about when uh when calculating how much was spent during home alone alone. Uh with the tar <laughs> Yeah, I didn't I get I didn't mean to do it like that. Uh, but with the amount, with the tar that Kevin put on the stairs, like that shit, those stairs are going to have, like, they had to have been replaced, right? Cause that shit was just how fucked much up. The white bandits cost. Yeah. Um, like what they were doing back then, like, if that were to happen in a Chicago area house, it would crack the foundation of every house. Oh yeah. They, what everyone, the damages were ungodly to what was done uh i want like even the just the, of the damages that were done that's what i want someone to do oh my goodness so in the sequel the home alone 2 oh. did you guys see how much the the flights <laughs> cost no. no how much so 14 tickets from chicago to miami at christmas four first class ones for adults and 10 coach also yeah, hold on Nine thousand nine hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Hold the fucking phone. And he said, and he said, your your dad is paying a lot of money for this uh, trip too. When he gets pissed off at Kevin. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. There were fifteen people going to Paris, and there were only fourteen going to Miami. What the fuck happened to the the extra child? Somebody died. Are they expected to leave Kevin home again? Well, no, that's the thing, though, is they, they, is Kevin had a, had a fucking ticket. Wait, well, yeah. So, you know what? And since you brought that up, they forgot to include him having a ticket. No, he does yell mom and dad. The family then, right? But here's the thing that, that means that, like, because all, like, the oldest kid amongst them would have been Buzz, right? Like, if you look at them age wise, Buzz was the oldest kid. No, the, no, there was the girl, the one they put in charge of county. No. She was older. So this even so I found this article and I don't have to cite it because it's a news article that ended up doing like literally from a news organization. Okay. So I'm not gonna cite him. Um, All right. 
But even though Kevin asked for the finest sweets, it was unlikely they'd put him in something as the royal suite that can go up to thirty grand a night. They Jesus will fuck. most likely put him Christ. in a VIP suite, a one bedroom penthouse, which comes out to two thousand nine hundred and fifteen a night. Oh, it was a Trump hotel? Mm-hmm. What do you expect? Well, he wasn't gonna get the royal. He wasn't gonna get the royal suite because Donald Trump was already in it. Well, so the reason Trump's in the movie is because evidently he's got a thing where if you want to film in one of his uh, hotels, hotels, you yeah. have to put him in the movie. Wait, wait so wait, 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 rascals, then. rascals. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Oh, guys, I don't know. I just I quote random things that I read on social media. It's not like I do my research here. That's weird. That's that he fair. Was in... Wait, well, so you understand just... that I've. I've done more research on King Kong's penis than you have about Donald Trump's hotels. Good to know. Oh, I thought you were going <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was going to, I thought you were going to say then Jeff has on anything from when he was in college. And that would also be true. <laughs> I was not a very good student. It took me quite a while to finish college. That's okay. Nobody's going to uh, college. Yeah, but it's a lot of money. I just kind of burned through. Uh, yeah, cool. I haven't paid any of it yet. I don't have any money. God, can we just God? Can we, like I, uh, if I ever have kids and they spend this much money on fucking anything, I, I'm not going to have kids anymore. I'm not going to have a child. That's. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I have. <laughs> and this right here today will be what they play in Mark's murder trial. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he slowly turned to be a murder suicide. Yeah. You think I'm going to stick around with all that fucking debt? He's going to be <laughs> like, uh, he's going to be like weighing off of uh, fucking Leonard Kennedy. I'll fucking watch kids fall off of bikes all day. I don't give a shit. Oh, good, 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 good. Fuck about your kids. Fuck uh, your kids. Three uh, fucking days. Three more fucking days until Leonard Kenny. Three days. Oh, yeah. Fucking three Leonard Kenny. Tug on it. I suggest you let that one marinate. I mean, I'm going to be tugging on it no matter what. It doesn't matter if Letterkenny's on the TV or not. You giving your balls a tug? Dude, I, I don't know. I'm giving my balls when, a tug right when now. Katie, when Katie and or Bonnie come on screen, tug, tugging increases. Bonnie McMurray. So you guys, you guys have heard of Krampus, right? Yes. Yeah, of course. So it, because I love the idea of Krampus, I decided to go looking for other like other cultures, different versions of like Krampus and shit like that. And there's so one kind of like an evil force of like Santa Claus, pretty much. Right. The, 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 the naughty of... version of it. Um, and most I, of them are actually evil. most of them are actually benevolent. It's just the kids are bad and they get, and well, you yeah, get exactly. Tra- they get what they fucking deserve. What the fuck are you getting uh, a lump of coal? <laughs> yeah. So, um, that got me on to the, uh, the Welsh, uh, entity i guess could would be the best word its name is uh oh god I, i'm gonna butcher this it's uh Mariluid. Okay. um basically what Mariluid is it's a uh it's a it's a custom in south wales where you get a horse skull that you mount on the end of a pole and carry it like oh, yeah, you that awesome. what that thing's awesome oh it gets better the, the, i know you're gonna get a chub when you hear what he does what it does so basically what they do is they put, they put, uh, you do know what they do. Yeah. Oh, of course you do. You're yeah. This is right up your alley. Uh, so what they do is they get, <laughs> they put a, they put a horse skull on a stick and then put a robe over it to cover up the, the carrier's body. And, uh, they go door to door demanding alcohol from people's houses during the holidays. <laughs> I love it. So you have this fucking horse head that just walks around town getting fucking shit faced. And I'm not gonna lie, like that's something I aspire to be in my life. That's no, I mean, like, what, th- I mean that, that's what the I, Easter Bear is. All we do at this point. <laughs> nope, key wins. That's yeah, what it's, the that's what the Easter Bear is. Basically, <laughs> but uh, the the Easter like, Bear is no, is no hard, longer. You could have done an Easter Bear version of this, but American, and it would have just been people giving you shots of Fireball. Oh. Like, oh. Like, oh, oh yeah, I'm, don't uh, forget we gotta we gotta buy uh, a fireball before we uh before 
you know, tonight. Don't forget, to set, out, don't forget to set out your uh, your fireball and pocket pussies for the Easter Bears tonight, guys. Be like, okay, we gotta oh. leave out. We gotta leave out the fireball. We gotta leave out a pocket pussy. We gotta leave out a. And don't, don't forget the glass big, of lube. A, bl- a big stack <laughs> of Playboys. I'm talking, you know, rarities here. <laughs> Did you say a glass of lube? <laughs> yes, Who the fuck smells <laughs> their lube and glass, man? Easter bear. This is for the Easter bear. bear. It would clearly not be... You wouldn't be leaving a bunch of Playboys out. It would be Playgirls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, come no. on. We're not wasting rare Playboys on the Easter bear. <laughs> If, no, no, no. If you, if you don't, if you don't, those are too classy. He's getting a hustler. No, no, no. If he, hustler in penthouse, man, he'll be. If good. you don't leave it out, he will upper deck your toilet. <laughs> He's you getting fucked up. Thing? Found in uh, bathrooms in Central Park. That is you what know? happens to people that don't leave out Fireball and a glass of lube for the Easter Bear. He upper decks your toilets, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh, fuck! Now I'm gonna have to go buy it. I'm gonna have to go buy a fucking bear costume so this i can is keep what the we've been living. telling you yes all dude. right all right fine fine since y'all want it so bad i will now you have a team now bear. you have a team of writers mark you're not wrong oh um well happy fucking holidays folks well boys and girls we are definitely we we are definitely on the naughty list we are yeah. absolutely on the naughty list. We talked about swingers and breeding, Mark's therapist killing themselves, and really shitty Christmas music. We made the naughty list. We're at the top of Santa's naughty list. Like you know those we those got underneath Lady Gaga's Christmas tree. Oh fuck yeah, we did. Oh god, I wish. God. <laughs> naughty I love fucker. Her so much. I love her so much. But uh, we hope that you and your family have a have a happy holidays. Whatever, again, whatever you celebrate, whether it's Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, get your cup of eggnog, give your mom and dad a hug, say thank you for taking care of your bitch asses, and we'll see you guys real fucking soon. Happy Christmas. Marty Crimbles, everyone. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The fuck off. Best of us for the rest of us. (laughs)